Welcome everyone, I'm Matthew Yell, Senior Vice President of Strategy at Caron and welcome to NAB 2022. So this year at NAB, uh, we've actually demonstrated and we are showing Caron Live, which is a live production platform in the cloud. Caron Live effectively gives you access to an entire platform for live vision mixing, audio mixing, clip and graphic playout, and lastly, replay and telestration. All that from the convenience of a web browser, as you can see right behind me. So just to give you a little bit of a tour, right now I've logged in and I'm actually using a setup for live, which is typically what I call the one-man band. So it's running an entire production by myself, which of course is pretty uh, complex to do in real life. And of course, the entire interface can be separated into multiple users and different roles uh, to cover a production. But just for the sake of this demo, let me take you through some of the modules that we're showing. So starting with, as I log in, two layouts that are currently enabled. So at the very top, we have the switcher with six inputs. These are the live sources coming in in a variety of formats and protocols from SDI, NDI, SRT, Zixi, RTMP, RTP, um, and so on, in or out. At the top, you have the main preview and program, a small audio console. And then in the center, this is the browser layout that shows us uh, the little asset manager that is running in live uh, in order to sort the content, in order to help me curate take list ahead of my game, ahead of my production. So I can navigate through the different uh, type of contents between graphic scenes, images, clips, playlist, or replay clips. Anything that I select, I can access some subset of metadata and use that to create my tech list on the left side. I can have as many playlists as I want and toggle between them during the production. So as the game starts, we will actually shift to the playout interface in order to start driving the live switching, which is as simple as literally clicking on the live sources. So one click will take my input to my main preview, two click will take that to the output. And you see this is actually a very nice dissolve transition, which we can actually toggle back to cut. So very simple, you can select your preview program, double click, take it out in, in, in uh, the program output. Important to know, you have one program output. In addition to that, we have the ability to stream directly to YouTube, Facebook Live and Twitch, or to record the output as well. And as I said, in top, on top of actually doing the live switching from here, I'm gonna be able to start driving some of my clip playouts. So I'm actually gonna clear my channels and you will see how I can use the keyers to key my graphics on top of my main preview. Let me take a few ones. So I'm gonna start taking maybe that penalty graphic. You see I did click twice to put it into my output of my graphic channel. It shows up on my preview. I can cut the entire thing and now I do have graphic as well. I'm gonna take another one to graphic two, for example. So I'm gonna actually use this one. Um, two click, it's gonna replace my previous one. Let me clear them as well. So right now I did use the simple toggle through the take list. We have different ways also of logging graphics, which could be doing a drag and drop from the take list to the appropriate channel. So right now I'm actually using a clip, which I can start playing. And this is actually a replay clip that I did earlier. I'm gonna clear that. Or you could use the fast recall workflow, especially in sports, through the numpad by recalling any of the graphic IDs. So I've got that nice, uh, clip playing here, I'm gonna recall this, load and play. And you see I'm very quickly pulling up a clip, a graphic, and overlaying that. So you see how uh, user-friendly this is. We've, you know, tried to pack into Caron Live or Prime platform and Paint technology, which are broadcast grade platform, but made it available through a very user-friendly interface. Now let me move on to the replay illustration aspect and all the inputs are actually also recorded in real time. So I can toggle between them. And if something happened, I can actually start to do a slow-mo and replay. You know, I can drag and drop this way through the interface. Of course, we can also connect physical devices, drop shuttles, do fast uh, keyboard shortcuts as well. And if something happens now, I'm gonna be able to use, actually, I'm gonna go back to my live workflow for a second, live stream. I'm gonna create a clip, do my marking, do a markup, save this in my clip store and then I can start also to telestrate here. So let me actually bring it at the beginning of the clip. 
I'm going to stop playing and I'm going to telestrate. Okay, so this player here is going to do a tackle. I'm going to draw where this attacker is going to go through. So very simply, you see, you can actually telestrate, illustrate the replay. And from here, you can either export that replay clip back to a take list for further usage. I could export it to social media directly, or I could take it straight to air. Two click and my replay will go to air. I need to clear the, the clip channel. So this is my actual output. So you see from the convenience of a web browser, I'm able to really drive an entire live production. Again, with live switching, full audio mixing as well to support commentary feeds, mix minuses, uh, multiple audio buses and auxiliary channels. So I can really do it all from that interface and use that also from distributed teams around the world.